Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Brother Will here. Before I go any further, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. Well, guys, um, there is potentially what I will say is a huge sign on the earth below. Uh, quoting Acts 2.19, uh, that he will show wonders in the heavens above and signs in the earth below. This weekend, we may see a really big sign. And what I mean by that is, um, so I'm based in Southern California, as you may have seen in some of my other videos, and I'm actually originally from the East Coast, where we had hurricanes all the time. Um, for the first time in, get this, 84 years, there is potential for a landfall tropical system in Southern California. Now you go, 84, what's the big deal there? Let me just pull up, you talk about things are confirmed by one or two witnesses. I have five things from scripture that make the number 84 very significant. First of all, the last time, <laughs> a 84 years ago, that, that last time that one made landfall in Southern California was 1949, for those of you who are following the fig tree generation. Um, but let me go further than that. Okay, so because it's, what's awesome about this number 84 is there's confirmations of several things that are happening on the end times calendar. First and foremost, the first Passover that the Israelites celebrated in the wilderness, Aaron, the priest, was 84 years old for. Um, another, another 84 from scripture that I found was, legend has it that Luke, we know Luke, typically uh, is is said to have written to the bride. I guess his gospel is to the bride of Christ, um, more so than some of the others. Luke, legend has it, uh, lived until he was 84 years old. But I'm saving the best ones for last here, guys. Let me let me read um, let me read Psalm 84 to you. Okay, I'll, I'll just read some some verses here. Okay, Psalm 84. How amiable are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts! My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living God. Yea, the sparrow hath found an house, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. They will, still, they will be still praising thee. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, and whose heart are the ways of them. Let me skip on down here. Verse 10, For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. It's all about the house of the Lord. It's all about being in his courts, right? That's Psalm 84. But the best two, the best two confirmations of the number 84, I say for last. First, Jacob was 84 when he was supposed to get Rachel and got Leah instead. What does that mean? Jacob was 84 when Jacob's trouble began. And then finally, what I would say is the best 84 in all of scripture is Anna was 84 when she saw the promised Christ. When she saw Jesus in the temple, she was 84. So be encouraged, guys. Again, Acts 2.19 says, I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth beneath, right? So we, of course, have Revelation 12 sign, all the sun and moon and stars and all the signs in the heavens and the clouds even, if you saw my latest community post, all the signs in the heavens. But on the earth below, we have earthquakes, we have various things, but this hurricane, I believe, if it, if it makes landfall in Southern California, which is a, a very good possibility at this point, would be the first time since 1949, 84 years ago, that a hurricane made landfall fall if that in Southern California. If that's not a, a sign on the earth beneath, I don't know what is. That's amazing. Our king is coming back for his people. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Be encouraged, brothers and sisters. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Maranatha, Lord Jesus. And as we always say on this channel, and all that we say and do, may the Lord Jesus be magnified.